Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. This is Spirit Journey, and the time is 2.44 p.m. And what's the date now? Uh, the date is uh, December 11, 2019. I'm just getting in. My little dog's here. I get all excited because I just walked in. But I want to do this quickie video before I forget. Yeah, on the corner of 42nd Street, 8th Avenue, that real busy intersection. Uh, I was like across the street from when it was happen where it was happening. Um, it was a it was a fight. Uh, a young man uh, could have been in his early mid early twenties, and what you, what you see initially is a body on the ground, someone on top, and like. Uh, Look like they're like pounding or going up and down. So I always think, oh my God, maybe someone had cardiac arrest and they're getting CPR. And a cop was to my left, and the cop had crossed the street and he didn't have this the light. And I was was surprised that he did that. And but he was he saw what I didn't see initially. It was a fight, and he was going to. Uh, investigate and then you see the cop or well, the cop had crossed before I did and then when the light was f uh, for me to go and when I was finishing crossing then I see it's actually a fight and it got ugly it was something it was just one fellow he he short on, on the shorts I mean five four and very 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 uh, slim and he, he wasn't. He was. He was resisting arrest. They were, went to arrest him. Uh, there was a plainclothesman, and he, the plainclothesman grabbed his underwear, like his rear end, and like lifted it up. They were trying to get him on the ground, and I, um, I, I felt like, oh my God, I, I, we we're all worried that, um, you know, another one of those police brutality things. At one point, the cop that crossed the street that was right next to me, he had taken, he, he had used his knee, like, you know, you grab the head and then you knee them to the chest. He did that. Uh, then uh, when he was on the ground, the, the suspect, the same cop grabbed him by the head and rammed it once on the ground. And it's like, wait a minute. And um, I, I guess why I'm giving this video is that, see, the, the, there is no guarantees because you don't know the mindset of these cops, okay? You, you, you never know. But, you, you know, someone has a gun and it's just you, just let them put the cuffs on you and, and, and chill out and call your lawyer. But to fight like that, the guy, I mean, he, he, he um, I, I was something, he really was resisting. And the more you resist, the more violent the cops get. Then the cops start to like, was stepping on him. Um, and th this might have last seven minutes, the fight. Um, and the next thing you know, you see a whole slew of police cars. What I personally counted was at least 12 police cars, the ones that I saw. To, I mean, it's ridiculous. It takes 12 police cars to subdue one, one fellow. And yes, he was a a black man, a young, young black guy. And yes, he had the gold teeth. It's just, they, it's like the cops, they don't know what they're doing. How, how long does it take to just put cuffs on? Yes, he was fighting, but you know, it's like, I thought they pre prepared for this to know how to subdue and put the cuffs on. You know, I just say that 
you have to really be careful. I mean, everybody, try not fighting. Just chill out, let the put the cuffs on, and call your lawyer. And you know what else would happen? Like, because a whole crowd surrounded, and they all took out their smartphones and were recording. And I, I was, I was close by, also watching. And I said, just don't, you know, don't stop fighting. I was saying, just let them put the cuffs on you. Um, yeah, they, they they arrested a person that was standing near me in front, a man. He looked like an older guy. He uh, was just a, a pedestrian, you know, just someone there. But they arrested him. The guy, it was a cop that came by and was like yelling at him, you know, at a group of us. You know, we, we were all near each other. And then uh, some of us backed away. And they just, the cop started talking to him and then just handcuffed him. And luckily he didn't resist. And they, they put him somewhere. So it's really something that sometimes these, some cops, it goes to the head, the excitement and everything. And they, it's a power thing. And it's an older guy. Why would they, why would they need to handcuff him? He wasn't fighting. He wasn't part of the melee. You know, it was like this um, scaffolding that blocked, blocked us from being able to go more for you know, closer. So it's not like the guy, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so I think the lesson in all this to keep a distance away because some cops get excited if you're too close, if you want to take uh, your cameras and everything, something that intimidates them. And uh, they can just start arresting anybody, you know? And the more you fight, the more brutal that these cops are going to be. Just let them put the handcuffs on you. Uh, again, it's not, not a guarantee about anything in life, as we know in the past, that that big, the big heavyset guy that got chokehold, you know, it, it's, it's sad. So that's all that I want to report right now. But, you know, just everybody out there, Play it safe, be safe, and have a, a safe holiday, okay? Take care, guys. Bye-bye.